All my fields might be harvested. My thirst for a billion dollars is not quenched. Welcome back to Broke to Billionaire, the series which I go from zero dollars all the way up to a billion. Last episode, we made a very exciting new purchase, which I'm driving right now. It is a forage wagon and a brand new tractor, as well as some silos. It has really increased the productivity of my harvest. You can see I'm scooping up some grass right here from the Meadowlands. It's a great time. We got the silage additive tank right there on the side. You can see it's skyrocketing our yield. We are going to be making a ton of money. This is the very tail end of our first harvest of the year in June. We are looking at this field over here to my left. It is currently growing canola. I am just waiting for that to get to the point where it's ready to harvest and I will be buying that field more or less right away. Taking out a little bit of loans to do so, but we are more than going to make our money back with that. As we go over the Meadowlands here, we do have one or two little side things crack a lacking. We're very, very close to being done with this harvest. Just doing a little bit of Meadowlands, a little bit of cleanup, just getting every last piece of yield we can out of these fields. How else are we gonna get to a billion dollars, man? The other thing I was thinking about today is we do have a couple contract harvests that are done for barley. So I'm gonna go and scoop up the straw they leave behind, man. We can turn that into silage too. So I think I might do just that. I do not think I am scooping up grass over here. So I am wasting my time. Those corners are always, always hard for my field hands to be getting. And frankly for me too, as I completely take it wide. <laughs> can see I got a contract going right here. Look at all that straw just waiting to be forge wagoned up and turned into silage. This is actually the one where I accidentally sent it to the wrong silo initially. So I will have to see what we're going to do there to remedy that situation. Get a few bags of fertilizer here. I do believe this fertilizer spreader can hold three of them. So I'll just grab those. We just have a bit more fertilizing to do. We're just scooping up that last little grass with the forage wagon putting it into our silo getting it all turned into silage letting it cook up letting it ferment in those tanks over there i love how them silos look they just look fantastic there on the farm forgot we got our little seeds sitting underneath the tree over there I think maybe i should just clean up a little bit of this myself i always seem to miss just a little little spot here and there had an ai going on the other field while i just took care of the little bit of meadow grass we got to grab still on the field we're very nearly done with this here month still got a little bit of uh forge wagoning to do over here as you can see right around the perimeter so we'll probably bring that guy over i'll have an ai go ahead and finish up this here fertilizing it looks like this guy is taking his final run to the correct silo this time i might add we'll see if that puts us over the edge for being able to complete this thing but basically last episode i had this automated and it was going to the wrong silo it was going to the grain west which is the train and dumping off all the barley there when it was supposed to be going to the feed and grain south it was just one truckload but it's not that big of a field so i'm kind of i'm kind of concerned i think you can get your grain back out of that but i'd rather just avoid it if i can that's a lot of driving back and forth man here's we are all fertilized there on both fields and they are ready to go for next harvest i just need to grab the remainder of the grass here with the forage wagon and probably go over and grab that straw as well i'm not sure how much it's worth doing I've never done it before. I've always been thinking about it. Probably worth a try. Has to be worth at least a bit of money there. Man, this Massey Ferguson's being a little squirrely. Probably won't concern myself too much with the uh, corners here and there start working on these main passes instead i really hate that it let us mow that over there but not actually collect it <laughs> bothers me every time i see it it's so weird how uh how that works with the property lines they're totally okay with you mowing it and putting it into windrows like that but the second you try to collect it in a baler or a forage wagon it just doesn't let you at all it's crazy but then again we'll probably be grabbing that field later this year and by probably i mean definitely so when we grab that field, we should be able to just fill it up then. Just kind of ugly in the meantime. Really excited for how this year's yield is going to look. I think it is just going to be an incredible amount of product coming out from the changes we made. That should be everything in this field. I'll just go ahead and dump this off and then grab the meadow lands grass from the other side. I see that we have transported this. It's only 55%. So we're 
probably gonna have to figure that one out. You think, uh, you think she's upset at me for sending some of it to the wrong place? Probably, definitely, yes. Okay, okay. So I want to go and grab it from Feed and Grain. What is it, like, West? I think it's Grain Pool West. Yeah, Grain West Silo. That is where I dropped it off. So I'm wondering here, we can do some load and deliver. We want barley. And we want to take that to feed and grain south. No looping. Let's see how he handles this. Yeah, we'll see how he does. So he needs to go and just grab the barley from that other place and take it to where we were supposed to take it all along. Whoopsie. Our production's looking here. Grass silage. Ooh, we got a whole bunch. It's slowly converting into silage. Slowly but surely. Chickens do look like they could use a bit more food. We will be doing that as well. First and foremost, let's go over and get every everything forage wagoned up and probably get this guy repaired and send him on out for picking up all that straw Ooh, a little pass here first though a little pass never hurt nobody all right we are nabbing and we are grabbing here let's get this taken care of i say as i completely miss a corner that's very typical some things never change, man. Doesn't matter what I'm using, how wide the working width is, I'm gonna be missing stuff. <laughs> uh, that's a classic. All right, so we just have a bit more grass to grab here. One thing I've gotten a few questions about, about the run. Big thing is what mods, can I get a mod list, that sort of thing. So I decided to integrate that a little bit into the Discord. I've got that going a little bit more. So I do have a link down below if you're wanting to join, if you're wanting wondering what mods I'm using, stuff like computer specs. I'll probably be putting some other information on there just to have it be in a nice, easy place for your reference. Likely we'll be doing more stuff with the Discord later on, more community stuff. But for now, general place to hang out, see some info about the runs, get more of me, obviously, on the tighter farm. So join up. All right, now just to dump off all this grass and get on up to some of them fields, bail up that straw, that hay. I don't know, quite know what it is. It's not hay, I think it's straw. What is it when you harvest barley? What's left behind? Chaff? Straw? If you like these silos as much as I do, you gotta subscribe. I, I don't know what else I'm, I can tell you, man. You gotta. If you wanna see more of them, that's the only way. I mean, just look at them. Come on, man. Excited for when it's selling season and I get to dump out the silage out that little, that little spigot get there on the side it'll be an interesting time Another thing people have mentioned to me is maybe using some generators i've thought about adding some to the farm i might start with something just small like a windmill or something like that before graduating to something more expensive in a solar panel i don't really want to take out more loans to afford that margins are a little tight with how much i will be buying while getting that gigantic field so whatever happened to this guy oh that's what happened to this guy <laughs> I wonder how long he's been there, just trying to get into where he can offload. Be fair, they got this. They got this little skinny. How I get my barley, man? Hey, look, little combine. I know there are a bunch of little like Easter eggs around every single map. Wonder if that's the one for Elm Creek. I mess around with that too much. Now, how do I get my damn barley? Back door. Okay, that's not what I want to do at all. Start filling. Oh, well, would you look at that? We're getting our barley back. I don't know how much we actually need here. I'll just take it all, man. This was a, a mistaken delivery, <laughs> which is pretty funny. This is probably where I will be dropping off the canola later this year, too. You can store things for free here before selling them. And uh, usually canola, you do want to be renting a train to get the best prices. So you just dump off your crop here and then sell it up. All right. You should go deliver that. And we were going to go bail some stuff up. And by bail it up, of course, I mean forge wagon it up. Looks like our old friend here unloading where he's supposed to unload. A little bit of contract completion and a little bit of $5,000 of harvest income. Not too shabby. I'm pretty sure this guy will bail this up, but we'll just have to take a look. Now, the other thing is, I think it's high time we got rid of this baler, man. I, I don't know why we still got this hanging around. As much as I love the Viacon Fast Bale and everything it's done for us, it's time to go, man. Off to greener pastures for you, brave soldier. Thank you for all you've done. Oh, it's so sad I'm leaving him. How could I? Oh, just take it before I ever change my mind, please. $1,000 so long, brave soldier. 07. Oh. He's gone. I'm gonna be even more sad 
about what I'm about to do next. Well, I love that bale loader. I don't know, man. We already got the bale trailer for moving those things, and it can be used for pallets, too. I absolutely love bale loaders. They are so great. But it has become time. Its services are no longer required. As much as it pains me to say, we got to take this guy out to greener pastures, too. We're already floating a bit in loans, and I can't be floating anything in loans if I want to be buying that over there. Even if it's for two of my best friends. Well, most of the bail loader. The bailer's fine, man. It just it just went at four miles an hour, okay? <laughs> that scarred me long term. I can't help myself. So long, old friend. Oh, oh. He's gone forever. I mean, I, honestly, I could see us getting back to bailing someday, but... If it is, it's gonna be square bales or cotton bales, something like that. It's not gonna be no more round bales. I can't do that no more. It's just too low capacity on every single one. And for what I'm doing here, I need a big boy setup. Now, it would appear <laughs> we're not forging any of this up. So, the more you know. Can you not do that after the contract is done? I wonder. I'm pretty sure you can use your own equipment on a person's field. I'll have to try it before I finish up a harvest but all of that's going to waste that's too bad they just wouldn't let me take it man the plus side is we got three contracts to turn in immediately immediately Ooh, oh ooh. beautiful beautiful just like that man i think we're good for the month might do a little bit of gas up action a little bit of chicken feeding gonna pay off the loan a little bit might put down a windmill do like some of the base game generators are nice just for a little bit of income here and there put something down we'll see we'll see already took out that street sign man well i don't know what it was doing thinking it could just be there driving through my soon-to-be canola field already all right we'll drop that bad boy off this tractor is done for the month what a lineup of tractors i really didn't see myself owning three <laughs> Like, not anytime soon, but here we are. We own three. We'll put the front loader back on this boy. And look at that. Massey Ferguson got his swag back on. I do love how the front loader looks. Look at him. Look how excited he is. Oh, baby. He's excited to be moving that around. To uh, treat my tractors like they're living, breathing things, even though I'm uh, literally in here just pulling the triggers to make this work. But uh, let's let's just pretend like the Massey Ferguson's alive and well, man. He's got a mind of its own. Well, I think it's really just filling up this here chicken food, and we're done for the month. Filling up the chicken food is always an adventure. As you can tell, I'm very accomplished at picking up these bags with my pallet fork. Especially when they're on a hill like this. I got one of them. Oh, it was the most empty bag, too. I got it. I got it. Refill that chicken food, man. Still got some left. Look at that. Set it down. Bag it up. Oh, yeah. The forklift king, as he's known. Guess while I'm out and about, should probably take care of that there pallet of eggs and pallet of honey. Realized I'm literally just taking one pallet, so grabbing the trailer was uh, not my greatest decision. We'll just put that right back there. Grab this here pallet of honey as I completely knock it out of the way. All right, we'll just drop off this one pallet. I'm assuming another one will spawn. Yep, look at that. <laughs> just instantly. What else is new? Send this boy down as I do another front wheelie. The special with these boys here. I'll just grab the other one too. I'm having fun with the front loader. It's always a good time. Get into the groove a little bit. Just hook it right away. Get it going on into storage. Will another pallet show up? We shall see. I mean, this one's full too. 400 liters of honey front wheelie. And I'm gonna uh, need to get a little tractor waiver for this boy, I think. All right, let's just get this Massey Ferguson. I should probably just go get it repaired real quick. Get it all ready for next month. So we are gonna be keeping our eyes peeled on that field over there. See exactly when it's ready to harvest. We'll be renting all the gear to be doing a fully fledged canola harvest. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Wasn't even close. A little bit of repair on everything never hurt nobody except for my wallet, of course. But yeah, we will be keeping an eye, see when it's all ready to harvest, do our full harvest. I'm considering if I'm just going to plant right away. I'm thinking it might be a good idea to have things offset just a little bit uh, so that silage can process in the tank just ASAP rather than having everything synced up. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure everything's going to get synced up when we start next year anyways. Because everything will be harvested at the end of the year and not growing for those winter months. And it should be more or less synced up after that. I'll have to see how it looks in practice. But I believe that's it for June, man. Another successful harvest day. 
before I forgot at the end of June, I did put down just a little windmill over there. Nothing crazy, just a little bit of spare cash every month. Didn't cost too much and it should bring in a decent amount of money at least. So we got a little bit of generator going on and we'll probably just leave it at that for now. Right in early July morning, 73 degrees. It's beautiful out here, man. And I'm in the tractor. One thing that's very tempting one of these times is actually getting ourselves a little semi truck, a little bit of trailer action. We are going to need to get something to transport our canola. And technically this guy does take grass as well. Oh, I just realized this guy's for tree logs. <laughs> this is not a semi truck. I was wondering what that big arm was at the back, man. Now this guy would be nice. Just buying a semi truck itself would be a bit expensive. Yeah, I wouldn't exactly call these cheap, man. Maybe we got something on a sale, but right now we'll probably just be buying a really basic trailer for harvesting that canola. Keep an eye on these sales. It would be really nice to get one like this, but oh, well, I think I'm getting ahead of myself here. You can see here both our fields are back to growing and field 57 still growing. Looks like it won't be ready to harvest until next month. So because it's not quite ready yet, there ain't too much to do this month. Looks like once we harvest that canola, we're probably not going to do it until next month. And then it's selling it right around in November. That won't take too long at all. We'll probably just do a bit of our busy work here for the month before just fast forward to next month. A very big canola harvest on the way. I'm excited for the eventual pivot to doing some sort of grains. I love silage, don't get me wrong, and I will be planting it over there, so I better like silage. It'll just be nice to be able to use a combine again. It feels like it's been so long now. I've been doing the whole mower thing, the forage wagon thing now, just for just for this whole time. It'll, it'll feel nice to be using a harvester on my own field. Uh, well, I appear to have brought another pallet of lettuce with me. <laughs> We'll see how that works there. I just happened to run the, the trailer over it a little bit while I was loading it up here. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I think as long as it gets in storage, it should be fine. Oh, yeah, look at that. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, it'll be nice to use a harvester on my field rather than all these contract fields. You know what I mean, man? I'm happy we got our maters back on the menu, man. I mean, look at all of them back there. It just didn't feel right not having maters. I mean, how else am I supposed to? Am I supposed to call them tomaters? Tomatoes? I just call them maters like any good country boy should. 7 a.m. Woke up. It's farmer time, baby. Well, 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 would you take a look at this here field? 96% yield bonus, 100% fertilized, ready to harvest. Oh, baby. You know what's so funny? There's actually a harvest contract here. What's she offering these days? Field 57, 10K for harvesting it using her equipment. Pretty sure I will earn more than that just buying it myself <laughs> and doing the harvest. I can almost guarantee I will earn more than 10K. All right, I believe it. It is time. It is the big moment. It is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to expand, man. We need to take out a bit of money and get purchasing, man. And by a bit, I mean a lot of money. We're about to take out about... We're nearly going to max out our loans right now, but uh, we'll get there. Let's not think about it too much. Look at the big field. Woohoo! Don't look at this. Don't look. Don't do it. I don't have 420,000 in loans. You have 420,000 in loans, man. And look at that right there owned by you and needs rolling but we don't need to talk about that part so it's time it's time oh happy day i'm jumping all around my farm here <laughs> looking at my dirty forage wagon so we'll need to this month we need to get a harvester we need to get a header we need to get a trailer and anything else for planting i'm not exactly sure what all i'm going to be needing to plant it would be really nice to just get one of those cedars that direct drills and if it could be used Used for grass as well as canola or some of the grains I'd consider just buying that because I think long term we're gonna be using that quite a lot probably just lease us a trailer for pulling it around town for harvesters themselves if I ever buy a harvester this might be the one I go for so I kind of want to give it a little whirl you know it's not cheap to rent out at 14k but none of the harvesters are really that cheap to rent out for the day so kind of just have to bite the bullet a little bit you know what I mean go ahead and get this leased out for the day we also got to get a header for it all right we got our header we got our harvester and look at this look at this little lineup it almost seems like I'm doing a contract here but I'm not it's for my own field man should still make a profit even after 
renting all this stuff for the day and I might even see if there's some other harvest that I can do with the rented equipment to offset the price a little bit. All right, get to a big guy. I don't know how required the tank tractor is here. We probably could just use, I mean, let's use the new one. It should be more than enough horsepower to handle this. And if it's not, we can always swap out the tractors. The idea today is to get that all harvested. We are going to store the canola to sell to Goldcrest Valley, which is through the train. We're gonna store that till November. They do let you use the grain silos for free at the different train stations. So we will be utilizing that so we don't have have to get our own silo and kind of nice for things like this where it's just you're just doing the one harvest all right filling up here got our very own little setup going on here I do believe that combine can hold about 10,000 liters get some more contracts going at the same time you know how it is got loans to pay off we are spending money on that harvester man we are getting that canola harvested should still be a profit for the day we're just harvesting it up look at that Look at that. All right, we are getting our grand harvest going over there. Got a few pallets to grab. Probably do that, and I might just get cracking on working on that field with the other stuff. I could use a cedar here. It might make sense to use one of these that can direct drill. That one's looking pretty nice. I don't think it needs to be weeded don't know i suppose i could go check oh it does need to be weeded okay so i think that changes things we need to be we need to use the weeder that can plant but also i think we need to pick up the stones but actually before anything else you should probably just get that stone picking started and then for planting and weeding um we are going to use this guy right here it's fine also can be run by the Massey Ferguson. We are going to need to cultivate it as well because this, this does not cultivate it. So we are going to need some sort of cultivator and we're going to need a roller as well. Man, so much to do. So much to do. We'll probably just use something big that the tank tractor can run. Could do this guy for 90. How much was the cultivator? About the same price, except this one goes a little bit faster and is a little bit bigger. So I'll probably just use the disc arrow. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense to me. So we need to pick stones. We need to, we might need to cultivate before we pick the stones, if I had to guess. We could try to pick up them stones first because we're going to need to do it anyways. They are too big to be rolled back down. That is the one unfortunate thing. I was kind of hoping that wasn't going to be the case, but oh well. Let's go grab that stone picker there. I'll just grab that with the Massey Ferguson for now since you can run it. I'll grab that disc arrow for cultivating the field. It can only be run by the tank tractor, but that's fine. It seems like a pretty good piece of technology. Big, it goes pretty fast. And then we're gonna need to weed and seed right after that. And then roll after that. So we got we got quite a few more things to do with that field over there. You can see the harvest is getting underway, going very well. Probably just grab it from the AI there a little bit later and clean things up. I'm curious if this and grab all the rocks from this field before it's been cultivated. I suppose we'll see. It tested just like right here. I should not be running over the crops. I am actually, <laughs> I'm so used to grass not getting crop destruction. So we actually did just destroy that right there. I don't know if you can see that little gap right there. A little tire track going through it. Uh, destroyed some of my crops, some of my canola. Not very much though. That's going to be like less than a percent. All right. Are we able to grab these stones? not up here we are okay so we're gonna need to cultivate first let's move this guy out of the way for now oh we are gonna need to cultivate first let's get that disc arrow could use the power arrow but it seems awful four thousand down the drain all right we will go grab that disc arrow I think they're making very good progress over there with harvesting. I'm real happy about this. Well, it might seem like we are having to pay a whole lot of money just to gather this canola. The only things we needed for that are just the harvester and the trailer. Everything else I'm doing right now is just preparing this to be planted and planting our grass on the field. That's all stuff we would have to do whether we were harvesting the canola or not. Got this disc arrow. Might be what I use in the future for cultivating. It seems really cool. It moves really fast, 11 miles an hour, and it's got a 12 meter working width. At least I think it was 12 meter. And it's just perfect for being run by the tank tractor. We'll get a little sewing done at the same time here. 
Okay, and before I forget, we are going to swap this to canola. <laughs> That's what the contract calls for. Before I forget, these guys are emptying out here, getting out of the way. Look at them just working perfectly together. Warms my friggin' heart, my cold, dead heart. Those we could get cultivating here as well. Before I forget, I will actually go get the tank tractor hopped up on repairs. I like how that disc arrow looks there. Kind of a crazy looking instrument. I haven't used the disc arrow. I've mostly just used cultivators, plows, subsoilers. Never the disc arrow. Seems solid though. Does the same thing as the cultivator. I need to turn this on or does it just get going? It just get, oh it, yeah, it just gets going there. Okay. Probably do a little bit of a headland pass just around this place. Getting this boy all cultivated, all looking good. A little bit tricky turning this guy, it's so big. Our headland pass star, this thing is a little tricky to turn, but it works pretty well. Love how the, those look back there, the wheels cultivating the land. Getting it all ready to go, all party. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> we got the achievement. Not good at doing headland passes on turns. Well, that was pretty good. Not too shabby, if I dare say so myself. This is definitely another field that's a little oddly shaped. That is a okay. I guess I could I could just bring over that harvester really quick and just take care of this stuff. Might just do that real quick. How are these guys looking, by the way? Okay, he's sewing. He actually is sewing the correct thing. That's good. <laughs> Let me see here. I'll just grab this. I just want to get that uh, that boy over there taken care of. I wonder, does that still count as cultivated even though I just shot some straw onto it? <laughs> wonder if it's just a visual thing or not. All right, let's get back to cultivating here. Oh, I am curious. Did I mess anything up there? Seed bed. Yeah, okay, it's still cultivated. Okay, that's good. Man, the turn radius is not very good on this. <laughs> might just need to back up more often sometimes I, I can get away with just hard turning right or left every time I uh, make a new pass I get the feeling that ain't gonna work out so hot here <laughs> look at this guy is he is he filled up then so he should just bring it right over there and uh, offload oh boy that turning <laughs> yeah just back it up man Oh, looks like he did go take care of that. He dumped it off there in the grain silo. All right, we'll probably start our rock picking here. Four pieces of equipment all on the same field. That actually is pretty cool. All right, we gotta speed things up. I got an AI with the rock picker there. Gotta cultivate faster. Just straighten it out of line here so it's not exactly my most optimal pass, but that's okay. Getting this disc arrow arranged is Kind of a task. <laughs> Gotta back it up just so. It's one of the few pieces of farm equipment that seems like it's easier to just back it up than actually have it going forward. So often I'm able to just do a big loop whenever I'm, you know, doing down and backs on my own field. If I give myself a little bit of a headland, I can just hold left or right and it'll keep doing its thing. This is just so cool. Look, we got we got our boy rock picking there. I'm cultivating. We got the harvester. We got the trailer unloading the harvester and taking it on over to the silo right there for sending on a train sometime in the future. This is just awesome. It should be nearly done there. Looks like he's on his final pass, second to last pass. Done very shortly either way, no matter how you slice it Ooh, needs to be unloaded that's funny uh we are full on rocks <laughs> did not see that happening oh where you take rocks like the debris crusher or something there's a lot of rocks on this field man 50 bucks at the debris crusher it's literally right across the street man i should just drive over there real quick don't start overloading okay yeah they're taking it all right 120 bucks and more importantly i don't gotta deal with them rocks that's crazy we uh already filled this thing to the brim i mean <laughs> at this rate we're probably gonna have to empty it a couple more times now one thing that's interesting is we do i don't know if i can actually see it we do have all our products in there yeah i think we can actually go look at this guy over here and see all our canola in here i believe right here Oh, don't fill. That's lime. What am I doing? Uh, I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> Whoops. 
Uh, I mean, when we turn it in, it'll be fine. Man, that's funny. I had no idea there was like a little lime uh, pour right there. That's fun. So we just got li a little bit of lime in here. $70 worth of lime. Well, I'll, I'll just turn this trailer back in. It'll like delete the lime out of it. Honestly, I mean, I could maximize using that harvester. I could use it on some other contracts. I'm just not sure I really want to, man. I could probably get it done by the time I'm done weeding and, and seeding and all that sort of stuff, but I just don't I just don't think I want to do that. The thing is, I realized I could actually get planting here. Okay, 70 horsepower. Oh, I caught it early this time. That was an accident in the making. <laughs> We should have everything going here at the same time. Like the rock picker is gaining on me though, unfortunately. I assume that weeder is gonna speed speed up too, because it has a pretty good working width there. You know, I suppose before we get planting there, we really should make sure we get this all de-stoned. Honestly, I, it's probably just a better idea to pause that to really make sure. Because if I plant something while there's still stones on there, you can't get the stones out. Although, I guess at that point, I would probably just leave them in, man. I mean, you know, cause a little more damage to the vehicles, but they don't actually harm the yield any. If you're driving over here for like 120 bucks isn't my best uh, idea, but especially because I went right by the debris crusher, I think. Wait, no, it was literally right there. <laughs> I turned left as soon as I was getting to it, man. What the hell? See why a lot of people play with stones off, though. They are just, like, kind of a nuisance. <laughs> like, running the rock picker really isn't that fun. Side-by-side -side tractor action. Went right around the same speed, too. So awesome. Look at that. What a scene. This is what Farmer Sim is all about, baby. Look at that. The two classic tractors, too. The Massey Ferguson, the tank, just working the new field together. Very nearly done here, just doing the last little bit. Then it just needs to be planted and weeded at the same time with that tractor over there and rolled. We're good to go. Actually, I guess fertilized as well. Oh man, it really is never ending. <laughs> Nearly done being ripped up, nearly done being picked free of a thousand stones. As soon as that's done, it's planting time and rolling and fertilizing. Oh man, that bale over there. Okay, I gotta remember to grab that thing. <laughs> Go see if I can sell it, might as well. Just sitting there doing nothing. Causing memory leaks in my computer, man. I do believe we are done with this disc arrow then. Very nice. All right, our work here is done. I will get that turned in. I know we have a little bit of stones in there, but I don't really care. <laughs> Maybe a hundred bucks. Not even worth my time going over there. I do wonder if we can fertilize right now. I might just try and see what it, what it does. Otherwise, I could do some pallets while he seeds there. I do need to make sure he has enough seed. I'm going to have to refill that thing a lot because it has a tiny capacity. That's like the one downside of that. Not your typical job for the tank tractor here. That actually looks so funny, that little bar hanging down. But we'll make it work. Seed delivery incoming. Sounded a bit worse uh, saying that out loud in my head. Planting and fertilizing at the same time has definitely made this look a little funny color wise because <laughs> they just keep like going right over each other with this. Oh boy, I, I missed one stone over there. That is so annoying. Well, rip. I am not re renting that for one measly stone. Really thought I checked for all of them, but no, look right there. Man, that's annoying. One little stone there ain't gonna hurt nobody. While I'm out and about, let's go try to grab that bale. I wonder if I can get it with the pallet fork. Let's go at ramming speed. Like I got the joust out in front of me. The only way I'm gonna, I'm gonna skewer this. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a heavy boy. I got it though. Man, I really, I really, uh, I really got that guy, didn't I? Oh man. Ooh is heavy oh boy it's real heavy uh, save me mr bale i'm sorry for skewering you <laughs> oh that's funny oh we lost it but maybe we can flip back up here even though we definitely didn't need to ram it at full speed ahead but something about skewering a bale at 30 miles an hour is pretty funny i do have to skewer it i mean look all steam ahead 
Yeah. <laughs> Just keep sliding right off. Oh, buddy, trust me, you do not want anything to do with what's going on here. Yeah. Come on. You, we, you gotta go at it fast. That's I, I got it perfect on the first try last time. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta go fast. You gotta get enough force to really get the pallet fork in there. Oh man, this is hilarious. All right, how's the, uh, oh, I didn't just slide right off. Oh no. Okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a real, this is gonna be no good. Oh man, this guy's all out of seed. While I'm goofing around with a, with a cotton bale here. Yeah. Oh, okay. That didn't work at all, man. <laughs> I got it the first time perfect. Come on, let's go. Ah. <laughs> what a goofy way to store this, man. That's what I hate about these combo planters is they always have like the smallest capacity for seeds. That roller way back in the day when we first initially planted this field was the same way. I had to fill it up like 10 times in 300 liters, man. Come on. One bag is like a thousand. I'm probably just gonna have to have the Massey Ferguson come on up with the, with the trailer full of them once I'm done goofing here. Uh, we're like at the lowest of the low right now. <laughs> Which seems bad, but I also kind of just want to go sell it. It looks like uh, the spinnery, right? So this is a 10,000 liter bale. That's a lot of money. Maybe I should just keep this, man. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm keeping this. That's that's too much of a money difference. <laughs> I'm keeping this wonky bale. I'm putting it into storage. Oh, you got to take the turns. Careful, man. Look, the slightest little turn brings my wheels off because this thing is so heavy. There's a big bale. Oh, man. Oh, look how wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go so slow around those turns. All right, we'll just pop this down the store. I, I assume this will go in the storage. Can definitely put these on. One, put this on one of the trailers too. But <laughs> I just thought this was funnier. It didn't really work out as poorly as I thought it would. Look at that. Okay, we got that, that random cotton bale in there. <laughs> uh, what an awesome sequence. That was so funny. Oh. <laughs> And two tractor flips. In just a few minutes there. I am on a roll today. Oh man, this field. So close to being done. It's just so exciting because look at this thing, man. It is just going to give us so much silage. So much. To the point where our setup might not even be ready for this. Might be a little too much silage, man. There ain't no such thing. Let's be real here. And it's really just getting that rolled. We are done for the month. A very busy one. Big harvest. And then just a whole lot of field preparation to do. There's always so much to do to get it ready for grass harvest. But the one nice thing about it, as always, is you only have to do that one time. Most of it. The only thing you got to do, obviously, after that is just harvest your grass and fertilize. And that's it. It can be a lot when it's a gigantic, fresh, new field like that. Especially when it's just covered in stones. It's got to be cultivated, got to be rolled, all that not fertilized. Lots to do lots to do but it'll uh, go into the silage empire soon enough funny that the sign blocking our driveway says pavement ends as you call this I guess it, this is gravel but I'm excited to, for when we get to selling season here because I think it's just gonna be crazy how much it is last year we upgraded it a lot doing things like grabbing all the metal land grass and uh, adding that second field over there added a lot of yield to our end of year sale and now we have that field over there oh man if adding that one little side field added that much yield bonus added another like at least 50k at the end of the year i can't even imagine what adding a field that gigantic on the other side is going to be like Grand we're only really gonna get one harvest out of it instead of, uh, you know, two to three, but still. Going too far that way seems to cut off my uh, hose sound. <laughs> So we, I, I guess I'm, I'm getting out of, out of range of the water spigot. Oh, oh, go back. Okay, there we go. Ooh, I just realized I do need to be adjusting the license plate for the lime green tractor. I don't know how to say that. The, the, 
the dudes far <laughs> close enough lime green tractor little green boy little green tractor look at that beautiful all right let's get this bad boy turned in thank you for your service mr dalbo mega roll i do believe that's it for august y'all we'll see you next month for some more fertilizing a little more growing before you know it another harvest time for a snooze